Hi, in this video, we will solve for example 1. If x is binomially distributed by 80, 0 0.3, use the normal distribution to approximate the binomial distribution for all the following questions. Why we have to approximate binomial to normal distribution? Because our n is greater than 50. Okay, so we have to do approximation. Okay, to solve this question, we have to use the formu the table of 3, which is table of standard normal distribution. Okay, let's proceed to example A. Okay, for probability x is equal to 14, so we have to uh, exchange, uh, we have to approximate binomial to normal. So, x, b, 80, 0.3 and we have to approximate to normal so change to n to get this you n times p 0.3 to get variance and pq 0.7 ok so for n normally distributed you got 24 and 16.8 Okay, so to solve this question, we have to approximate because of this. Because our n is greater than 50. Okay, so x is equal to 40. After we do the continuity correction, we get probability x greater or equal to 14 minus 0 0.5. For less or equal to, we have to plus 0 0.5. Okay, so we get probability x 13.5, 14.5. Okay, so we do the standard uh, standardization to get normal. So, probability 13.5 minus 24 divided by square root of 16.8 okay, becomes sec 14.5 minus 24 divided by 16.8 okay, so we get the answer probability z uh, greater or equal to negative 2.56 less or equal to negative 2.32 ok, we have to take 2 decimal place only ok, so after we get the the value so we make a a graph of normal ok, so our value is negative side so we put the our value negative 2.32 Five six negative two point three two. So our probability is here. Okay, so it is equal to positive side. Okay, so two point three two and two point five six. Okay, so is equal so we can get the answer probability x eh, probability z greater or equal to 2.32 minus probability z greater or equal to 2.56 okay so you look at the table 3 what's the probability for 2.32 okay so you got 0 0.0120 okay for probability z greater or equal to 2.5c you get 0 0.00523 so the answer is 0 0.00497 okay so we proceed to the next question for probability x greater or equal to 14 a eh, 15 so we have to do continuity correction for this one ok, if you didn't remember you put a number line 15 uh, greater or equal to so we have to go to the right so you have to make uh, continuity correction before 15 
So minus 0 0.5 So you got here probability X Greater or equal to 15.4 Okay After we do the continuity correction We do standardization Probability Z 14.4 minus 24 Over square root of 16.8 Okay so we get the answer Negative 2.32 Okay, so after we get this answer We make a graph To know the position of uh, Z Okay, so Z greater negative 2.3 So negative So decide negative 2.3 And the region is here Because to the right Okay, so it is equal to 1 minus Uh, this side is it equal? It's equal, right? One minus this side, you got this one. Okay, so one minus uh, two point three two negative. Okay, so is equal uh, probability z less or equal to negative two point three two. Okay, probability z. Less or equal to negative 2.32 is equal to probability Z greater or equal to 2.32. So you got 1 minus, okay, the value of 2.32, 0 0.00523. So you get 0 0.99. For it, the last answer you have to make for you have to take four significant figures. Okay, okay, we proceed to next one probability x greater than 16. Okay, the symbol is greater than, so we have to make the symbol greater or equal. So you got probability x. Greater or equal to 16 After the symbol have the equal to And then you can do continuity correction Okay, so 17 to the right Okay, so we have minus 0 0.5 Okay, so your continuity correction Probability X less or Greater or equal to 16.5 And then we do the standardization Z greater or equal to 16.5 minus 24 divided by square root of 16.8 ok so we get the value of Z uh, negative 1.83 ok so to know uh, the region so we have to draw the graph ok so uh, negative. Uh, the answer is negative, so we put the negative side. Negative one point eight three. Okay, so uh, the symbol is greater or equal, so it is the region. Okay, so is equal to one minus this one, right? Okay, so this one is equal to. Okay, is equal to. Okay, so. One minus probability Z. Uh, greater equal to 1.83. So, look at the table 3. What's the probability for 1.83? So, you get um, 0 0.0336. So the answer is zero. Eh, sorry, is correct. Zero point six nine nine four. Okay, the third one, uh, probability x less or equal to seventeen. Okay, so uh, less or equal. So make a number line 17 to the left Okay so you have to do continuity correction Before after 17 So we have to plus 0 0.5 So you got probability x Less or equal to 
17.5 and then we do the continuity we have do the continuity correction and then we standardize probability z 17.5 minus 24 divided by square root of 16.8 16.8 and then you get probability z mm, negative 1.59 okay so you make a graph and to know the region okay negative side also negative side 1.59 and the region is less or equal so to the left so this is your region okay this is equal to positive side 1.59 so your answer probability z greater equal to 1.59 so look at the table 3 to get the answer so your answer is 0 0.0 five five nine okay